Hey, it's Corrine, and I've had a few requests asking me to show how I did the collar and sleeves on this baby onesie album. Here's a photo of the finished album, and the collar here and the sleeves, as you can see, are in a different pattern paper. So I'm going to show exactly how I did that. Let me pull over another picture for you to see. So as you can see here, I was able to customize each page a little bit different to coordinate with the other paper, the pattern paper that I'm using. So on here I have the little pink polka dots for the collar and sleeves, and on here I have this gingham pattern. So let me just go ahead and move these aside. And I'm using an adorable design from Mary Fran at Knitwit Collections. This comes in the Babies First Girl Collection. They also have an adorable boy collection. So I started with her adorable design. And as you can see, she has a different color on each. But I was cutting it out in a die cut to make an album. So I basically just traced her design. So the first thing you want to do, being that this is a PNG file, if you turn on the cut lines, you're going to see there are no cut lines for this. There, otherwise, it would have a red outline around this onesie. So we need to go ahead and give it the cut lines that it needs. And by the way, I will put a link in the description box for this specific paper pack that, and also to Knitwit Collections. They have tons to choose from. So I'm going to go up here to the top right, open up my trace window. I'm going to select trace area. I'm going to draw a box around this entire shape. The next thing I want to do is over here on the right, uncheck the high pass filter, go down here to my threshold, and move this all the way up to 100%. And as you can see, we have a great outline. If you look closely, all of this, if we to the right over here selected trace, it would not be a perfect trace because it's it needs to be solid yellow for it to be a perfect trace. But that doesn't matter because we're just tracing the outside of the onesie. There are ways you can get around that as well, but for what, the, what we're doing today, we just need the outside of the onesie trace. So I'm going to go over here to my right and select trace outer edge. And now when I move the onesie aside, you can see we have a perfect trace. So nextly, I want to go ahead and zoom right in on that onesie, or excuse me, on the collar on the onesie. Go over here to the left, select my knife tool, and you're going to get all these options open up on the right. It's probably going to be defaulted to straight. Go ahead and select curve instead. So I'm going to start off of my onesie here, and you need to add points as we go, which I'll show you what I'm talking about. You're going to need to add cutting points as we go to give you the curve that you want. So I'm going to start off of the onesie and I'm going to left click. That's going to start my points. And as you can see, as you move it, like if you were just going to try and trace around, it's not going to work. You're going to have to give yourself cutting points as you go. So I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to left click. That added another point and now it takes off from there. So I'm going to just kind of follow this around. I'm going to left click, and that puts my cut in place. Again, left click. And you'll be able to see, because if, if you try and do less clicks, it, you're not going to get a great um, curve that you want. So you're going to have to kind of go in smaller sections. Here's another click, another one. And I'm just setting those down by left click clicking my mouse. And when it gets around like these real curves, you might have to do smaller sections. And I think I did this twice before I was really happy with it. So far, I'm really happy with it right now. But just kind of follow that around, left click. Basically, by left clicking, you're placing down that cut section. I'm going to continue doing this all the way around and following it off. And now I double clicked again. And as you can see, we have cut that piece off. Let me move it back. So, as you can see right here, there is a cut for that. Okay, so let me zoom out. 
I'm going to do the exact same thing to the collars, sorry, the sleeves. Again, using Mary Fran's design. Now for this one, you can use a straight cut over here on the right. You don't have to have it on curve. So I'm going to select my knife feature again. I'm going to select straight. And now I'm just simply going to drag my knife down, move it past where I want it to go, and let it go, let go of my mouse. And now I have another the sleeve cut. Okay, so I'm going to go to the, the other sleeve and do the exact same thing. I'm going to select my knife feature. It's still selected on the straight since I haven't changed it. I'm going to click down. Let me, I'm sorry, I let go of my mouse. You don't want to let go of your mouse. So once you click it, continue to hold your mouse until you get it where you want. So as soon as I get the angle that I want, I'm going to then let go of my mouse and it cut it off for me. So let me again zoom out. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and move your design away, select your object, select all of it actually, release compound path. So I right clicked and I selected release compound path. And now when I move this away, it's going to leave us with our two sleeves and collar. And now we can simply select those go up to our fill pattern window. I'm using Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. So the standard edition may be slightly different. So you may have to go about it a little bit different way as far as how you get your patterns. But in the Designer Edition, my patterns are over here on the right. So now I would simply choose one of the adorable patterns and fill those in with whatever pattern that I wanted. Now, this portion here that we cut off, you're going to want to get rid of that, delete that off, and use the original traced portion. So you want to use the first trace that we did. You could, you could have duplicated that and kept it. I'm going to quickly just go ahead and redo it since it only takes a minute. I'm just going to do my box over it uncheck my high pass filter, move this up to 100%, trace outer edge, okay? So now we can go ahead and fill this in with a pattern paper. And now let's go ahead and send this to the back by right clicking, selecting send to the back. And now as you can see, we have a different pattern for our collar as we do our sleeves. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope that this helps and have fun with this beautiful design that Mary Fran designed. Like I said, I'll put links in the description box for Knitwit Collections. Thanks so much for watching.